Hi, this is Gail Minogue again, and I'd like to speak to you about a subject matter. First of all, I'm the numerologist, maybe that you have heard or somebody told you to look at or what have you. Um, I'm going to speak today about a important subject matter that is completely under the radar, invisible, with all these gender names or words that say she or he or they or them, uh, words themselves. Since we have started this power years of 2000 to 2999, the two is the number of the feminine. So for 1000 years, we are working with feminine energy, balancing out the one of the last thousand years and of the male and the patriarchy. So you're seeing a rise in female energy worldwide. What you do not see is a change in language. You do not see the um, female taking over or replacing male terms. I have been to several women's uh, groups or um, associations, big or small, where the, the maybe the, um, the, ma the mistress of ceremony will say something like, okay guys, come on, everybody be quiet now but doesn't realize that these are not guys. And so we continuously use slang that is continually male, patriarchal. And part of this thousand year new turn is to change these words and to teach us that God is not gender based. It isn't a he, it isn't a he or father. It is what we'll say, an energy or spiritual, whatever. Religion is basically man-made, all right? We have several in the world and they're all man-made and they were all made during around the same period of the Piscean age. So we ended up during that period of say about 2000 years of continuously instilling this patriarchal energy. And so now we are out of that and we start now this period of the 2000. So we want to be wise and pay attention. God is not male. So, I mean, who, who wrote that it is male? Well, it wrote, men wrote it was male. Men came up with that. And so we will not use that. We will start to remove ourselves from God the Father. And, and this we start to change our vocabulary. And we always pray to him. He's going to save us. He, he, he. Well, that's not true. It's not a he. It's not giving that gender to the, what we'll call the universal power, the energy, the source, the ruler, whatever you want to call it, but it's not a gender. So we need to, we, we're going to start to move away because what happens is words, as even the Bible tells you, words become flesh. It becomes form and substance. When we say, I am sick we get sick, or we're worried about losing money or running out of money, and we run out of money or we lose money or we make it hard to get money because words become, words are very, it has no sense of humor. This is a very creative exercise is speaking. It's very, in the, in the years ago, let's go really back in time, thousands of years, where indigenous people, when language was being formed, they could see, and we had, we were able to, we were like seers. We were able to see the formation of letters or characters forming words. That's how powerful these vibrations are. So when you say things, be careful. So this is going to be changing our lives. The more we are aware of what we say and what we create. And right now we're still perpetuating a male dominant world as we shift into and get used to female words and stop calling female groups guys and understand that God is not a he. And, and it goes on and on and on. It's very subtle, but it's extremely important to watch what you say and how we give a gender to these words. And it keeps perpetuating a patriarchy, shall we say. It keeps perpetuating a male dominance because we're literally making flesh of those words. Words, 
you know, in the beginning there was the word. That's what it says. So in order to create, we speak it. And so many people don't, they misplace their minds when they're thinking of saying something, they just say it. They don't realize the damage they're doing. I can remember many years ago when I had a new house and I remodeled it. It was, a, it was a gorgeous old home, remodeled the inside. And it was, a, it was done very quickly and it was hard work and I had these crews and it was just awful. Finally, when it came down to the end, I kept saying, I need a break. I need a break so I can catch my breath because the holidays were coming, we're trying to, but I kept saying, I need a break, I need a break, I need to catch my breath. This is really hard. So anyway, we finished up and a day or two before Christmas, people were coming and on these new wonderful floors, I slipped and fell and slammed into the dishwasher and I broke my ribs and I was in agony and you couldn't even get, I had a hard time getting any doctor simply because it was a holiday. And I remembered what I had asked for and I kept saying, I need a break and I got it. And guess what? I could, I had a very hard time breathing. I could hardly catch my breath. And it's exactly what, we, what I'm trying to impress upon you. When we speak these words of he or him or the, give this father, we give a gender to, we give a role of the patriarch, it's not gonna fly like it did, it was okay, but it's all changing now with the two and the feminine. You're watching in the United States, the rising and the struggle of female and female rights and female leadership and the changing of the guard from the predominance of male energy. America is a marketer of the world. We're gonna market this. This is going to go out. I was talking to somebody recently about the world situation and how we have, um, we have these parts of the world that are trying to be free or break away or get out from underneath some dictator or authoritarian. That is all male. All of them are male. All the wars are done by men. They're, they're decided by men. They're fought by men. It's pretty nasty. And so we want to take a look at the world as it starts to do this number two, the more we can use feminine words, the more peace there will be. It's so critical. It's so subtle. And we don't even realize we do it. We do it all the time. And we give uh, allegiance to the male. I'm not against men or nothing. I have three sons. I have no idea. Um, I mean, there has nothing to do with men. It's how we approach and think and speak is really where I'm going. It's thinking and speaking because we've created a world that is all this heavy dominance of male words, male power, and this is what we have. We have wars and we have armies, all, and we have dicta dictatorships, authoritarian figures, all continually to promote the male. It won't work. During the next 1,000 years, because we're only into 2024, but we're starting to move. You can see the changing. We're going to be changing the words which people speak about. And this isn't about, you know, some of the goofy stuff you read about in the paper now. Is it, is it correct to say this or say that? It's really about your common everyday speak, particularly when you go and you pray to God and you ask him to help you. Huh? Huh? So this is so subtle. We do this and do this and do this. Even though we may not go to church or temple, we still speak of it in terms and think of it in terms of him. But what if it's not him? If it's a he, she, you know, energy, it's both. It's both male and female energy. We can no longer just call it one energy of this, the male. And this has gotten us where we are. And this is now on the precipice of being changed. So we are trying very hard to do this, but people are not even aware of the words they speak. And every day we can go promote women's rights and all that. It's, that's good. However, what's going to create it faster is speaking in terms of the female. You know, it's like, what is she? What about praying to her? Okay. Where are we, where is she going? Ladies, you know, and, and, 
it, all of this business is so subtle. I have a list of words upstairs from some of my numerology books on what these words, if you look at the numbers and the energy behind them, you would never say. You would never say, because you wouldn't wish this stuff on yourself. If you want to know what you've created in your life, look back at what you spoke. Remember, words become a form. And you say it more often, and you have more energy on it. It will happen, whether it's good or bad or, you know. And, and we're, if we're really worried about something, we're afraid of something, we start speaking about it, that's like the worst thing you could do. So don't. Watch what you say. Remember, and also the word I am is, you've been told it's very powerful. Stop saying I wish, I will, I want, I hope. How about I am? I am now whatever healthy, okay? Or instead of I want to be healthy. That's not male or female, but these are just power words that we want to be careful. We, if we were more aware of what we speak, we wouldn't open our mouths because of what we've created for ourselves. So I'm going to continue this on another day. I just wanted to mention this because it came to me the other day how important these words are and how damaging it is to us to speak otherwise. And things are changing, but it'll change even faster and better and prove it if we use the correct genders and just start stop thinking of it's all male and it's all patriarchy and that's what runs the show. That's what it looks like today, but that's not where it's headed. And it's headed more and more feminine power and to balance out this. So we can look forward one day to uh, breakthroughs and maybe in leadership and breakthroughs in how we treat people who are different because the number two, we always have to consider another when we think of two. One, we just think of ourselves. Two, you have to think of another. You can't have the number without two parts. So that's the difference in the number two. So you always have to think of someone else. You may not like that, but it makes you think of completion with someone or something or some condition other than your own. So watch your words, be very aware. Think of the gender you're using when you say these words, especially if you're praying or you're going to church or you're reading. Uh, and this is true whether it's new age or whether it's old age, traditional or progressive. They say the same things. Pray to our Father. Okay, they say the same thing. So be careful. Just be aware. If you can start being aware, you're going to help yourself a great deal, no matter what else goes on, if you can speak it correctly for yourself. I am, I am now, powerful. Okay, everybody, thank you for watching. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you. Hi again. I just wanted to uh, give you a, a hint to, you might want to sign up for my September 28th Zoom program. And it's going to be at 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. It's 90 minutes. I'm going to be covering the election um, going forward in 25, 26, what we can expect moving forward for the next six years of the 20s, and also what we can expect as a result of this election coming up. We'll go over a whole different parts with uh, not only this, but also some of the other side elections that are going on along with it. You can um, go to my website. There's a link for sign up right here, and you can just go ahead and do that, and I'll look forward to seeing you on September 28th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Okay, thanks for watching again.